Hi guys, let's try to fix a, a snow faulty board. As you can see, this board has a missing uh, head sink, probably was uh, ripped off. Let's connect the data cable from the tester to power supply and run the test. As you can see, we have 59 chips. Let's try to do some measurements after 59 chip. I hope you can see the display of the multimeter. This is the 59 chip and the C. Clock, it's okay. CO, it's okay. RE, it's okay. BO signal it's ok and reset it's ok let's try to measure after 60 chip which is not detected from the tester the clock it's ok CO it's ok reset it's ok BO it's ok and the reset it's ok everything is ok but the tester is not detecting the 60, 61, 62 and 63 so we take this powerful tool needle and try to short the CO signal after 59 as you can see it show me 58 chips it should show me 59 so let's move backward CO after 51 chip it show me 50 so it's not ok Let's move backward. CO after the 42 chip. Show me 41. It's not okay. Let's move more backward. After 33 chip, it show me 32. It's not okay. Let's move backward. After 27, show me 26. After 12, it show me 11. CO after the sixth chip is show me five. Let's try after third it show me two. So sorry. CO after second show me one chip. And of course after one show me the one chip. So even if the tester show me 59 chip the problem is on the first chip of the board let's stop the tester stop the power supply remove the back head sink of the board of the chip one i have set the heat gun to 40 470 degrees Let's remove the black glue on the top head sink wow I haven't seen so much black glue on a board unfortunately this chip must be replaced it's not uh, work with reflow I set the heat down to 250 270 degrees let's put some weight on the board and start cleaning the black glue carefully to not uh, damage other uh, components on the board if the glue is heating it becomes more easily to remove from the board
careful when you clean on the joints do not apply too much pressure to not damage the board When you work with uh, flux, I recommend to wear a mask for not inhaling the smoke came out from the soldering paste or flux. Now let's move, let's set the heat gun to 470 degrees. components okay now we have to clean the board use this the soldering wire and the iron is set to the maximum power 480 80 degrees Let's clean the board. Okay, the board is looking very nice. Let's try to wing zoom a little bit hope you see let's take a chip the 
the chip are uh, prepared. for um, soldering Now let's hit the chip. Let's apply a little pressure on the top of the chip. Let's cool down the board, keep the pressure. You should have a very steady hand. As you can see, we have 63 chips. The diagnostic was correct. The problem was the first chip of the board. Funny, isn't it? Now we can stop the tester, clean up the board, solder the heatsink again, and put the power to this board in the new miner. Thanks for watching.